Hi, welcome back to our channel. Thanks for joining us on our day trip to Vienna. Today we see lots of impressive buildings as we wander around the city before taking a relaxing catamaran cruise on the Danube. What a nice relaxing way to travel back to Slovakia. But it's not all smooth sailing. Last minute changes of plan really freak me out. the train managed to catch the train it was quite tight but we're on it just crossed the border from Slovakia into Austria so yeah feeling a lot more relaxed now that we're on the train <laughs> not rushing to try and get to the train. we just arrived in Vienna uh, we got off the train about 15 minutes ago and um, like five minute walk from the train station is uh, Belvedere Palace we're just going to have a wander around. We don't like have a specific uh, plan of you know wanting to visit certain places, but there's lots of things to see, so we're just going to uh, wander about, see things as we go, and get coffee at some point soon because we both feel quite tired. We're up quite early. Yeah. I've not quite woken up yet, even though I could wait for hours. Okay, I was warm on the train. That was the thing I, th thing I thought was a bit warm on the train, a bit steep. But uh, Vienna is known for coffee. It's a very big coffee culture, so I'm sure we can find somewhere to get coffee and maybe even a little free cakes. We'll see. Stay back. here today there's not like a whole lot of tourists mm. but I guess we are quite early it opens at 10 mm. and there's only like quarter to 11 so yeah. so we had the big lawnmower in the front and now we've got the 
the little robotic Husker Vanny. He's coming up. Oh uh, yeah, there's a nice water feature over there. Yeah, there's a gorgeous massive fountain and Phil's more interested in filming the automated lawnmower. Yeah, why not? <laughs> All the shrubs need to trim, all these pointy ones, all the hedging. There's you know? quite a lot of weeds around about as well. A lot of weeds, yeah. At the other side, in the front garden, it was a lot... Um, Not perfectly manicured. Yeah. It seems a little bit wilding. Yeah. But maybe that's the look they're going for. Maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, my personal opinion is they need to weed the gravel and add a little bit more gravel. And then it'd be much more luxurious. But maybe there's a lot of maintenance going on, I guess, because these yeah, fountains are closed. Well, switched off the drain. So you can just come in and just like wander in the gardens for free? Don't have to pay. Like, obviously, you pay to go in and see the palace. I don't yeah. think we have time really. We've got one day here, so. Yeah. We had two days, maybe. Yeah, but it's nice to just see the grounds. Head down the steps. according to Google so uh, we were going to be able to walk there but um, yeah so we're, we're going to go to a different one but it's a bit further away so we're going to try and get a tram and go there so let's see if we can manage to get our way there and yeah. have something to eat because yeah. I'm hungry there's just like so okay. many nice buildings to see like everywhere you look it's just yeah you just look around, not really seen any building yet, you're like, oh, that's ugly. So, yeah, it's just a pleasant, pleasant type of place to walk around. So, we're going to get into the underground. Yeah. And we're looking for a tram. We realised it's not a tram, it's the underground. Yeah. Last minute changes of plan really freaked me out because yeah. I wasn't planning to have to get a like, tram or underground or anything. Yeah. 
success, we found our way to the gluten-free restaurant. Uh, I was a bit like, I was a bit freaked out on the underground because everyone was wearing masks. I don't know if it's like still mandatory here. Here and hopefully Phil's got his whole menu of gluten-free stuff. But I think he's Bring trying to get getting. schnitzel. That was yeah. the plan. That was the whole kind of purpose of coming to Vienna was to get some gluten-free schnitzel. So yeah. So the food has arrived and it smells amazing. And look at the size of this schnitzel. That's huge. I got the cordon bleu, so it's got ham and cheese inside it. it comes with potatoes. Mm -hmm. And Phil just got the. Mm, the beef. No, the. What is it? Bean. Bean. Yeah. And it comes with potatoes and um, cranberry sauce. Yeah. So it's veal. Mm -hmm. What's in yeah, it? Sorry. Veal. With cranberry sauce and a gluten free beer. And I went for gluten free as well, just because that means that Phil can, can try, try a bit of mine. Okay. Not the cheese, obviously, but he can try a bit. I can taste it. With no cheese. Because he wanted to be able to try different ones. Yeah. So let's enjoy. Let's see how it is. Good. A bit. It's tasty. Mm. It's really good. Phil found that actually, so yeah. he wanted to come and try that. It's not too far from the restaurant where we ate. They didn't have any. They had the dessert, but they didn't have any like, dairy free. Yeah, like well. ice cream. So, yes, yeah, so Phil's got like this massive ice cream sandwich, which is gluten free and, and vegan. I don't know how you've got space to eat that after like, <laughs> the message. You've always got space for dessert, especially good free dessert. I just got one scoop of dessert. the vegan pumpkin spice latte ice cream, which tastes like a pumpkin spice latte, funnily enough, in ice cream form. Oh. Who would know that? So, we are currently on the north side of the Danube River. So, we're going to cross back over the Danube and go see the Hofburg. Where we're getting the boat later, so we get to see where, where we have to get the boat from. So we're back to Lactus Lab. Back to Lactus Lab. So we've got until 4 pm. We'll be on the, on the catamaran. Yeah. We've got about two hours. I think Stephen's Domkirche. It's huge. You can go up the top of that, you can climb it. There. We thought that other church was big, but this one was No. This is a nice big, very busy. Okay. We've got the hotel Stephensplatz. Stephensplatz. See the way it's flat. What have I been enjoying doing during this whole thing? No. <laughs> Saying all the German things. <laughs> but that too, because I had a big splats. No. Or fart. Fart. I thought that's what you were. No. I've just been. No, well, I have been farting because it's been uh, a lot of food. But I've been enjoying it. All these Austrian it's so big. It's hurt your neck looking up. Yeah. It hurts my you know, the camera can't fit it in, but I can't fit it in my own vision. That's 
big. Yeah, I guess it's a bit around these as well and stop the birds going That's in. That's a clever idea actually, otherwise you'd have an infestation of it. Yeah, it does cover up a good thing. So much to see in this city. Like you could spend a week here and you know visit all the museums yeah, and everything. We, really we didn't really go. We went in stuff. We went okay, cool. That's cool. Yeah. We went out. We just don't have enough time because we got here on the train at like 10 a.m. and then we're getting the catamaran on the Danube back at half past four. And we have to be there at four, so literally six hours in the city. So it's a whirlwind tour. But yeah, it's definitely. Um, impressive if you're into if you like architecture especially and uh, we'll have to come back another time and just spend more time and find out more about the, the history because there's so much history here Austro-Hungarian Empire and Habsburg family and everything so it's just a bonus that we got to come here because yeah. we were visiting friends in Bratislava so mm -hmm. it's an extra yeah extra thing to pop over to Austria and our main goal was to eat schnitzel we did yeah 
smooth salt and some culture thrown in. So yeah, a nice day out. We've got about an hour before we need to head for the boat, the catamaran. So we might go, there's another garden on the other side of the Hofburg, we might go see that garden. It's only about a 19 minute walk, so yeah, everything's pretty easy to walk around as well. Or the main stuff in the middle. On the side. Yeah, mm -hmm. just so much to see just within a walking walking distance. So. Cool. We'll head off. Okay, we're on the side of the, oh, the Hofburg now to the Burg garden on the other side. garden feels a lot more like a park kind of. Yeah. The other garden was like a rose garden. Had Features. Yeah. It felt quite peaceful and chilled in there and you could just like yeah, relax but this one was nice too. The back of the back of the building. But it seems to be like a big greenhouse. That what Schmetterling house means. Green. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, so we're heading to the boat, aren't we? Yeah, when we were looking into coming to Vienna for the day, you can either come on the bus or the train, but we also thought you could take a catamaran on the Danube, and we thought, hey, that'd be a pretty cool way to get there. Um, but to go both ways, you didn't get here until about midday, so we would have only had four hours because the last boat going back leaves at half four. So we decided to get the train here early, spend the day, and then take a nice relaxing cruise along the Danube to get back to Bratislava. So yeah, we're just about to go and embark on that now. It's a big boat. It's a big boat. Yeah, quite busy. It's really picking up speed now. Coming out of the city a bit. Yeah. It's a pretty fast boat. We'll be in Bratislava in an hour and a quarter, which is about the same as it took on the train, so it's quite quite fast.
relaxing way to travel back to, back to Slovakia on the Danube. I really recommend it. Have it seems quite similar to Edinburgh where they put the Parliament building right next to the old castle um, and it's like a not very pretty modern building next to this gorgeous old castle. <laughs> They seem to like to do that. Um, it's the uh, St. Martin's Cathedral. Go up out there. Hope you enjoyed our Vienna day trip. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to join us in our next video as we explore one of Slovakia's many beautiful castles and go to a wine festival with traditional dancing. See you then!